Alright, hello everybody. Hope your day or night is going wonderfully. It's currently nearly one o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to do this video a little bit quieter. <laughs> but today we're going to be talking about the best ways that you can get some of the rarest loot in the game. Now, as we know, we pr well, you probably already know this tactic, but at the same time, it's good to reiterate it and it's good to let people know who don't really know much about the game or just want a quick little strategy so that they can go further in the game, get more loot, get more galleons, and then eventually get somewhere in the game that's a lot more higher standing. So let's just get straight into it now. First thing that you will need for this strategy to get loads of Prometheus Acrimonies and loads of uh, different legendary reagents and catalysts and loads of different sunkens and different rare armors. You will need either luck 4 or luck 5 potions. Now, yes, I know they are very difficult to get at the moment, but as long as you persevere and you push through, you will be able to get them very quickly as long as you've got the patience for it because you will need to do fishing. Now, there is a video on my channel which I released like maybe about four or five days ago, which goes over exactly how is the best way to get as many gold, uh, legendary fish scales. So if you want to watch that video, go ahead and watch it now or watch it after this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff whilst you're there. And so what is the reason for us using these two potions? Well, they massively increase our chances of getting the rarer items so luck five decreases the rarity of items by 90 percent so previously the prometheus acrimony was a one in i think three thousand chance which is rarer than getting a sunken from fishing but obviously is easier to get because there's more chests than you can do fish in a small amount of time so like it would decrease it from a one in three thousand chance to a one in three hundred chance of getting a Prometheus Acrimony. Now, if we pair this up with the fact that golden chests give us a one in five chance of giving us a ingredient, and they give us three items per, that massively increases our chance of getting ingredients and also massively increases the chance of us getting that Prometheus Acrimony because for most of these chests we will most likely get at least one ingredient from each chest which this is the exact way that you can get the most out of your luck 5 potions because at the moment yes you could do a ton of fishing with luck 5 to try and get yourself sunkens but sunken iron armor is terrible the sunken weapons are the only value like really valuable ones but at the same time they're very hard to get now because of the fact that we've got two different sunken sets with uh eight different pieces which means it's a one in no a two in sixteen thousand chance which is insane so it's a one in eight thousand chance to get either or so it is hard very very hard to get them Actually, no, it's a 1 in 16,000 chance. Sorry about that. It's a 1 in 16,000 chance to get your specific sunken that you want. Which is fucking mental. It's hard to get them. But this is why I'm making this video. Because I don't want to see people wasting opportunities like this. Because you could get tons of acrimonies instead of getting tons of sunkens. So exactly what should we do to get these acrimonies? Well... You should go into at least either layer 3 or layer 4 of the Dark Sea. Mo at most, layer 5, don't go into layer 6. There's no point going into layer 6 because you'll get no island spawning and it's pointless. Layer 5, you might be able to find the epicenter, that's cool. But personally, I'd just more go for layer 4 because it's just safer. It's middle grounds. So go to layer 4. And by the time that you find a decent looking island that has quite a decent amount of chests on it, splash down that look 5 or a potion. Make sure it's a look 5 or gilded or a potion because that gives you the most amount of time and the most amount of use out of your juice. 
Oh, you throw it down at your feet, you get hit with that aura, and you go for it. You go and open up as many chests as you possibly can. Once you've finished on that island, you go to the next, you go to the next, you go to the next, and you go to the next. Make sure that you've got a boat that will allow you to spawn them in, so don't go for a boat that is really quick. Go for a boat that is sort of fast, but not too fast, so under 130. Uh, speed is normally recommended, so maybe like 110, 120 speed between that. You want to make sure that you go to as many islands as possible, get as much loot as possible, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, you find a treasure island, because that's one of the best for chess, and fingers crossed that you get yourself your acrimony. Now, it's not guaranteed. It is not guaranteed. That is a big statement there. It is not guaranteed to get an acrimony. However, your chances are massively heightened, especially considering the fact that they have made all chest drops are a lot less rare, so it's a lot less rare to get an acrimony, which means that it's a lot less uh, rare for you to go and farm it up, <laughs> if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. But this applies to pretty much all rare items, pretty much applies to all of them, because most rare items, so let's say your sunkens, Using a luck 5 potion will make it so that you have a 1 in 200 chance of fishing up a sunken item. That paired with the ensnaring bronze rod means that you will get to that 200 item items a lot quicker. Especially for using luck 5 because luck 5 gives you guaranteed items. So it is a great strategy for getting sunkens. However, I would personally use it in the dark sea to go and grab some chests so that I could hopefully, in the end, get Prometheus Acrimony. Now, in terms of getting other really good loot, using Luck 4 Potions is also a really good method. Luck 4 Potions opening up, so yeah, Luck 4 Potions are mainly used for opening up different chests. So, say Nimbus Seal, Bronze Seal, or Dark Seal chests, use them to open up those chests. Uh, so, personally, I'd go for two Golden Pearls. Five leg scales and then doing it in a gilded pot so you get the most time out of it so you can make sure that you definitely get all of your different pots uh not pots sorry <laughs> thinking about bloody pots and pans uh, that as as many dark seal chests in or as many nimbus sealed or as many bronze seal chests in as you can and it just makes sure that you're guaranteed to get them all in and at the same time if you decide that is in your interest to go through back and forth from the dark sea to the bronze sea from the dark sea to the bronze sea you keep on going back and forth back and forth to keep on storing more and more chests uh, it's definitely a good idea to get a look for gilded aura potion or, or aura or essence i'm not sure what it's called but yeah it's more in your interest to get that because then you'll get an hour which means that you get to sit there afk and let all them chests go in whilst you sit there and watch so I'm going to end the video there for today, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, comment down below what you want to see next, I really need some suggestions because I'm running out, but other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one, in a bit.